must witness the Inquisition. I hate Carol of the Solar Blue Surf Academy. Do swear to tell the truth. Take a seat here. After all, it's not an Inquisition. But it is a serious situation. A serious accident. We've spoken to the others. Now we'd just like to hear your version. A version? Um. <clears throat> oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, hello, Andrew. Um, we're handling it right now. It's not an Inquisition. Uh, yeah, sure. I, I Mr. Solar Blue himself on the phone and the parents. They're going to want heads to roll on this one. Problem is, it's a bit like a puzzle with a heap of different pieces. Different little incidents. And the first incident began days before, with a really small moment when someone new rode into town. Wow. And that was the start of everything. In that one moment, things that had been bubbling away underneath for weeks came to the surface. Matt and Edge had been neck and neck in the comps and on the scoreboard for weeks. 84, Things 84, had hotted up in the training, and the competition had shot pow into everyday stuff. In fact, the rivalry was starting to get more and more insane. And I have to admit, I was egging them on. But it was the arrival of the beautiful stranger Push the competition up another notch. First one, do a 360. Go! Hey, hey. Check it in. Showing off to them about how you survived being a speed bump. Yeah, fine. Let me go. Stop making a big deal. Hey, you listen to me. Hey, Beck, he's 11 years old. You can handle yourself, can't you, mate? Yep. Here you go. See? And bingo. Edge went from being the deadly vanquisher to becoming Ben's hero. So if A, Edge hadn't been showing off in front of that girl, and B, he hadn't nailed Ben, then Anna wouldn't have come out of the water at just the right time to see. Hey, it's Lailey up from school. Oh, I didn't know they surfed here. Neither did I. Hey, Leah, Blair, this part of the beach is in for grommets, OK? There's who? There's everyone. It's the rules. Well, where are we supposed to surf then? That's your problem. Helping girls like them learn to surf properly down a lot on the good breaks. If they really want it, they'll find a way. Everyone else does. But does it have to be so hard for them? And now we had a third thing happening. Anna became a woman on a mission. In surfing, you have to take risks, right? Yeah, that's OK for you academy girls. You're all top surfers. The guys respect you. But if we go, they hardly ever let us get away. And if we wipe out, it's all stupid grommets just wasting the best wave of the day. Well, why don't you just join the board runners club then? What's the point? They don't have beginner girls events. They make us compete against the boys. So that's the first thing we've got to change. Looking back, it's amazing how everything started from just a few little incidents and then started to build up and up. So I've got Edge as front runner to win the next comp, yeah. Matt shortly behind, and Heath... Coming Are you blokes waiting on us? Sure. Yeah. Why not? Oh, no argument from me. I'm just curious, that's all. Just as a matter of statistical interest, why is Edge in the lead on everything? Yes, he creams you on me. Hearing Edge was favourite really got Matt wound up. So did what happened next.
goddess from the beach yesterday, and whatever fault she had, gymnastics wasn't one of them. What is her name? Laurel something. Where did she learn to move like that? Been here half a day and already trying out for the gym team. They say she's going to get in. Definitely. Very good, Laurel. Thank you. It was at this point that Matt decided it was time to impress. This black You know what they say, boys will be boys. With Matt and Edge though, it wasn't just boys being boys. It was boys being complete idiots. Things on the Anna front weren't going much better. Nobody else seemed all that interested in her mission. It's only a few cons, three or four years. I can't, I got enough on my plate. Plus, I gotta help babysit Ben this weekend while Mum and Dad are in Queensland. I thought you'd love to help. You're the local. We all had to mix it with the guys, Anna. Nobody set comps up for us. But wouldn't it be better if we helped these girls? Save it, Anna. If they really want to surf, they'll find a way. Why are they so resistant? That's the way it's always been, Anna. Well, I'm gonna change it. One thing that wasn't changing was the competition between Matt and Edge. If anything, it was going from bad to worse. Laurel's amazing, isn't she? More amazing than, say, Perry? Well, no. I mean, Perry's amazing too, but what about those gymnastics? You know what I reckon? I reckon the main reason that you think that Laurel is so amazing is because you think that Edge thinks she's amazing. And same with Edge. Heath, you really talk garbage sometimes. Whatever you say. What's up? Your training wheels fall off. Just admiring the view. It is nice. If I had to pick a moment when things started to get really out of control with these guys, this would probably be it. I can get up to 30 k's along this jetty. No way you could prove it. Yeah, I could. End of the pier's about 50 metres away. At 30 k's an hour, it's about six seconds. Six seconds to the end of that jetty, you reckon? I could beat that. And once again, I couldn't resist playing my part. All right, guys, you ready? Go! No doubt about it. My brakes didn't work. These two guys were fast becoming an accident waiting to happen. Were Matt and Edge just an accident waiting to happen? Well, at least Edge jumped in at the deep end of the gene pool. No harm done, uh, apart from his backpack getting soaked. And when did they start to bet their own possessions? What do I say? Do I show them Exhibit A? The evidence on the video camera. Like the underwater breath holding challenge. That's a record, mate. We had a bet. Come on, Ben. Do I have to? Yeah, and Perry's coming to stay the night with us too. So, see you tomorrow? Well, you bet. All right. Thanks, mate. This is quality gear. It's one thing to be rivals, but it starts to become something else when you start betting your own stuff. And Anna was about to take it one step further. You organised a girls' comp for tomorrow. And I thought you could be a judge, Simo. And Deb, you could get Solar Blue to be the sponsor. As Surf Academy coach, I'm not 
permitted to judge local comp centre. And Solar Blue only ever sponsor elite athletes and the academy. No exceptions? Never. I really, really want to do this. Why? Why is it so important? It's unfair that there's no junior girls comps. It makes things so much harder for them. We can help. Anna's got a point. Come on, Simo, there must be dozens of potential judges in this little old black book of yours. Oh, yeah, and heaps of potential sponsors in this electronic diary thingy of yours. Surely they can give a few prizes to Anna for the day. What's all this stuff going on between Matt and Edge? Who knows? Secret boys business. Yeah, but don't you think they're pushing the competitive thing a bit far, though? Beck, they're boys. That's what boys do. Yeah, I guess you're right. You know something? I'm so glad I'm not a boy. Yeah? All that having to prove yourself all the time? I mean, who's the toughest? Who's the smartest? Who's the best? I mean, who cares? Yeah, but boys are lucky too. How? Tell me one way. Because they get to date fabulously beautiful girls like you and me. Perry, only you could have thought of that. <laughs> These are the prizes. Yeah. The guys win heaps better stuff at the local comps. Yeah, fair enough. There's more guys competing, so it's harder for a guy to win. Plus, guy surfing's way more out there. It's more spectacular. How can you say that when your own mother is a champion surfer? But if you pit the top women surfers against the top men, there's no contest. Girls got their own style. Guys, they take more risks. They surf bigger waves, and they put up with more punishment and pain. So how's this for pain? Ah. <laughs> Thought you could put up with it, macho man. Right. I'll get you for that. We were all making such a racket, we didn't hear the doorbell or that anyone was trying to get our attention until... <laughs> Ask Laura of it to join in the girls' comp tomorrow. Girls' comp? What a great idea. Yeah. It's about time I had something like this. It's terrific. And I guess if Laurel hadn't walked in, all the next stuff would never have happened. Excuse me. There's two heats with two girls apiece. Never thought about competing before. I only really surf for fun. <laughs> Two shots? So, Laurel, how long have you been surfing? Oh, I'm only a beginner. Nowhere near you guys. Which is why it's so great that Anna's organising this girls' comp. You'll be up to speed in no time. I wish. I've got half a year's schoolwork to catch up on, too. Well, no worries. I've got copies of all our year's work. Well, it might be useful, if you want. That'd be great. All right, come That's another great thing about the bay here, that the reefs are teeming with fish. I could take you snorkelling sometime, if you like. I'm up for that. It'd be fun. Make yourself at home, Ben. Ben's staying here. Uh, is Beck OK with that? I called her and said that we'd take care of him so that they could have the night off. And she agreed. <sighs> I said I'd guard him with my life. Man, look at that poster. To Edge, our future world number one, Brad. Awesome, when did he give you that? When I was, like, your age. Wow. Liv Cameron? Yeah, that's my mum. Hey, she wasn't one of the first women to ever take on big waves, wasn't she? The key was her stamina, her paddling. She'd make me paddle for hours too, out to the fishing boys and back. How long would it take you to paddle to the fishing boys off Blue Water and back? Uh, under 30 minutes. No way. Yeah, easy. All right, let's see you do it then. OK, then. Sure, if you do it too. All right, I win, I get your Brad Gilmore poster. All right, and if I win, I get that fish book you're so hooked on. Yes, sir. With Laura's arrival, the boys went from stupid to crazy, and each contest saw more of their precious stuff changing hands. You know you should be Go on, mate. Have another one. OK, so I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, thanks. It's been fun. <laughs> A great intro. Hey, Laurel, uh, it'll be getting dark soon. How about I walk you home? Thanks, that'd be nice. See you, Anna. Ciao. See, I told you it could happen. Everything's going to be perfect. Hey, you've been a while. So, have 
Have you made it to the next rung on the food chain? I've got an idea. Do you, Edge? Some of the older guys were telling me about a point break where the waves hit pretty solid around the rocks. So I thought we could surf switch foot. No leg ropes, the ultimate challenge, winner takes all. Even Laurel, whatever you want. Bring her along, she can be one of the judges. Spielberg here can video it. OK, you're on. I don't know why, but at this point, I began to feel that maybe things were going a little too far. Nothing I could do, though. These guys were primed and ready to fire. This swell's a bit high, isn't it? It'll be fine. It's only a two-second window between the waves. You've got no room for error. We won't make one, will we, Matt? So, uh, you want to go first? It's your call. Hey, look, guys, no, I reckon flies right. Maybe straight to the breaks down a bit. Hey, this is our show, right? You just get your camera ready. Well, out of mind, whatever you want. What do you say, Laurel? Me or Matt go first? I agree with Fly. Isn't it too risky? That's the whole idea, isn't it, Ben? You're right. OK. I'll go first. You ready, Maestro? Yeah, ready this end. Go for it, Edge. Are you certain of this? OK. I will. You want some juice? Hey, Anna. How's the contest going? There's a storm coming in. I've got to bring it forward an hour. Shouldn't be a problem, should it? Not if you can help. I need to get word to Laurel. Where is she? With Edge and the others. Somewhere called Stress's Point. What are they doing there? No idea. Can you tell her while I call the other girls? Leave it to us, Anna. Come on, Edge. Here we go. Yeah, did himself that time. All right, buddy boy, time to show you stuff. Sure. Hey, just board. It'll get smashed. I'll get it. Ben, stop. Right, Ben, I'll get it. Ben. Beach is all marked. I'm ready to go and you are. Shouldn't be long, mate. Here come the girls now. Beck, can you support him? He's getting heavy. I'll take over. I'll do it. Okay. Got him. She's still trying! She's been under there for over two minutes. Get her out now. I think she's got it! OK, 
okay, mate? <coughs> Why? That was a hell of a way to beat Edge's underwater record. <laughs> Thanks, Fly. What the hell's going on? This part of the beach has been reserved for half an hour for a surf comp. We've got the best waves you've seen in a month, and they're reserved for some wussy beginners comp. Don't worry, you'll get your chance at it. When? They reckon there's a storm coming. Maybe we can start without law. We'll say a minimum of four. It's all right, you've still got a couple of minutes. Harry? How bad is it? We're getting straight down to the doctor and we'll meet you there. Guys, there's not going to be any comp today. What? Laurel's not coming. That's the least of our worries. And this is all because of your stupid competition. Sort of. Ben wasn't even meant to be here and we're supposed to be back at Anna's surf comp by now. But you two couldn't wait because you had to prove who was Mr Macho Man. What is it with you guys? Do you always have to act like cavemen? Hey, that camera's not still rolling, is it? Thanks for showing us that, Heath. The three of us voted to show you. Not a very flattering picture, is it? Does anyone have anything to say? I should cop the blame. I started it at all. It's my fault as much as his. I issued just as many challenges as Edge did. Look, to be quite honest, I'm responsible for a bit. I stir them both up. I egg them on every step of the way. Thanks, guys. You've really done the male population of the Academy very proud. They... We just overdid the competition thing a bit. Overdid it? It's one thing to compete. It's another thing to compete at the expense of things like safety, especially the safety of others. Now you all have to face the consequences of your actions. And there were lots of consequences. Facing Beck's parents, extra chores, including a cool one for Matt and Edge. Can we go now, mister? In the end, though, Anna did get to hold her comp for girl beginners. Not everyone is thrilled about it, of course, but you can't please all the people all the time. Hey, As for Judy. Ben, he had more attention than he could handle. And as for us guys, we had more attention than we wanted. Hey, Edge. Ben would like an ice cream, thanks. Sure. Oh, uh, I wouldn't mind one either. But you two. Great. I love one. And that, maybe if we get a solid drink too? I'm on my way. Ooh. It's getting a bit hot, hey? Do you reckon you can put up the sachet? If you really want it. I think we do. Don't we, girls? Definitely. Absolutely. So we had our few days of boys being boys. Now we just have to pay for it and pay for it, and pay, and pay, and pay, and pay.